Hey everybody, Fred Lam here and welcome to my Facebook ads training. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you how to spy on your competitors Facebook ads and steal them. Now, I don't mean to copy it word for word, but what you can do is simply follow my strategies, spy on your competitors and simply just mimic what they're doing and really learn from them, especially if you found an ad that is producing phenomenal results. Now, that being said, before we go right into it, let me tell you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. And on the other hand, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, simply just go to Fretlam Official to follow me on Instagram. Now, that being said, let's really dive in into our video training today. So, first of all, we need to all thank Cambridge for the entire Facebook scandal that has happened. If this never happened, we won't be able to simply use this strategy, which is completely free for us as an advertiser to spy on our competitors and simply steal them and use it for your business. So if you never heard about the Facebook Cambridge scandal, just do a Google search, you'll read all about it. And because of this incident, Facebook is forced to be transparent. And they have done a lot of updates to be transparent on what advertisers are advertising. And as a consumer like you and I on Facebook, we actually get to see exactly what these Facebook pages are advertising. Now, on the other hand, it gives us as an advertiser and those that run a business and run Facebook ad a complete advantage. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. Now, that said, after the entire scandal has happened, Facebook is forced to be transparent, then they release something called the Info and Ads tab. So as you can see right on Ty Lopez page, you can actually see that on his page, there is an info and tab button that can be clicked on. The minute that you click on it, you will actually see all of Ty's ad during that time. So you can actually use this for any Facebook page. However, this has officially got removed. So like I said, if you're watching any YouTube videos that is telling you how to spy on your competitors and it's still talking about the info and ads, those are completely outdated because now it is completely all gone and they are all removed. So what can we do now? The beauty is that Facebook released something called the Facebook ad library. This is even better than the info and ads. I absolutely love this because you could actually spend a lot of time on this page to actually research about your competitors and most importantly for you to simply spy on them and copy what they're doing. Now, in order for you to fully maximize Facebook ad library, here are the steps to spy on your competitors. Step number one, interact with ads related to your business. Very important, if you are in the dog niche, please, if you see an ad all about a dog product, click on it, go even to attempt to check out, don't even buy it, attempt to check out, it will trigger Facebook to basically making Facebook knowing that, hey, you're interested in dog products and they will show you a lot more ads. When you see all these ads, what you want to do is to copy down their Facebook page, the name of the Facebook page. Now, if you don't see the ads in your niche, you can actually go to step number two. Simply go to Facebook and search for related posts and Facebook pages that are within your niche. Once you jot all these down, maybe find three or four of them, then simply use the Facebook ad library to actually spy on what they're doing. Now, here's a bonus tip for you all. If you see an ad that uses Bitly, congratulations, you have won the jackpot because by simply copying the Bitly URL and adding the plus sign right after it, you will actually see all the data, how many clicks they have, where did the clicks come from, and most importantly, when did they get started? So that will give you an idea of exactly what is going on. Now, here's the important note. This is why we built Tiny, and you should definitely check it out at www.tiny.ie. 
we secure your data, making sure that you can still utilize short links and have all these amazing marketing tools in place and at the same time, protect your data so that even if your competitors are using this buy strategy on you, they will have zero clue what you are up to. So definitely check out www.tiny.ie. That being said, let me actually show you a demo on how I simply use the Facebook uh, spying on your Facebook competitor for you to start using it for your business. So we're gonna go to our browser right now and once we're on the browser, let's say that I don't really know who I wanna go after and I actually are selling a dog water bottle. When you go to the dog water bottle, you'll see all the videos, all the posts related to dog water bottle. Here's the best part. So the first ad over here, it says the busy consultant, this water bottle is made specifically for your furry family. Get yours at this URL. That's a bit.ly URL, amazing. Because what we can do is simply click on this. All right, they have 2000 emotions, 563 comments and 828 shares. Pretty strong numbers. Now, what we can do is simply grab this bit.ly link, open a new browser, and then simply add a plus sign right after the link. And voila, now we can see exactly when they start this ad, how many clicks they got, and if this product is still selling or not. So as you can see, the product started in April 2019, and then in 2019 of May, it started to scale, then suddenly it just flopped. That means that probably this product right off the bat did pretty well, and when the person starts scaling, it started to die and the product eventually died off. So that said, if you are into Shopify dropshipping and selling this dog water bottle, chances are for you to actually make some decent profit out of this product may be a little bit tough because someone tested it before and it obviously doesn't work. So as you can see how powerful this tool is, and how important you should not be using Bitly because adding a plus sign obviously can expose all your data and you don't want that to happen because if it goes onto the hands like me, I would know exactly what you're up to. I can see what you're doing. I can spy on you. I can see if what things is working and not working for you. So I don't even have to spend a single penny and I got all these data. Definitely, that's why we built tiny.ie. Now, at the same time, we can actually go here and see, well, the busy consultant. We can now go to the Facebook ad library and simply search up the page, the busy consultant. Now, when you're on this, you can actually select the page and make sure that the filter is set to all countries. And you can see that this page no longer have active ads. Probably, that means that this business is done. All right? because who won't be advertising, right? So again, this person is not advertising anymore. Now, that being said, what you can also do is simply, again, let's say that you've gone through the research and really found a Facebook page that is working well. In this case, in this one over here, um, trying to pause the, uh, try to pause this. In this case over here, this one is called HiGo, all right? HiGo Shop. So guess what I can do? I can grab their Facebook page name and simply go to HiGo Shop and simply click on their page name and voila, take a look at all the active ads that they are running and when, at what month they actually launch. So this will just give you such a competitive advantage so that you can actually see what people are up to, what people are testing, what is working and what is not working at the same time. Now, again, let me remind you, use this strategy, okay, ethically, all right, don't just, See something and copy word for word. Never do that. You simply just want to use these as a resource for you to learn and for you to see what is going on to gain your knowledge. Don't copy it word for word. I'm totally against it because obviously these are people's other people's hard work, but you're just learning from other people's hard work and simply make variations of it so that you can actually see and start getting more success with your business. Now, this doesn't just work with e-commerce, obviously, regardless if you're into digital publishing, affiliate marketing, and even lead generation, you can obviously use this strategy to your advantage. So now, if you want to learn exactly how to generate amazing, cheap, yet very effective and high quality leads, 
make sure you check out my video on how to actually build a Facebook lead ad. I record a complete tutorial for you. So go ahead and watch that video if you want to learn how to generate leads for your business. Other than that, hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my video and my channel. Comment below. Let me know your feedback. And other than that, I look forward on seeing you in our future video.